I don't know much about the Wolverine game. I kind of want to take a look at it. Let me take a look. Durag Nation, with all the hype focused on Marvel Spider-Man 2, I wanted to go over the next game Insomniac will be releasing, Marvel's Wolverine. Both games were revealed at the 2021 PlayStation Showcase, but Spider-Man 2 took priority. That will change after October, so before then, I wanted to go over everything that has been revealed so far about the upcoming Wolverine project. I'm there excited is an about Wolverine. Among some fans that we don't have any don't information know much about, about this game, and I'm here to change that. So hit the like button if you're hyped for Marvel's Wolverine, but if you make it to the end and are satisfied change it to a dislike like spider-man 2 Ouch. marvel's wolverine will be launching exclusively on the playstation 5 and will not be supporting playstation 4 however based on the last three games that Sonic has released it will eventually come to the pc while brian intahar serves as the creative director for spider-man 2 brian horton will take on that role for wolverine just like he did for spider-man miles Do I have morales to be brian however too? horton did confirm the game would be full-sized unlike miles morales and have a mature tone which supports what industry insider Jeff Grubb, who was pretty much always right about his leaks, says he heard about the project. According to Grubb, the it's game will be targeting R. a hard R rating, so expect plenty of blood and gore. Grubb wow. also said the game could release as early as 2024, but he heard there may be an internal delay, so we'll likely see Logan in action sometime in 2025. The game wow. so far only has one trailer, but a lot of information about the story was packed into it. In the now famous video, we're shown Wolverine sitting at a bar filled with guys he's just severely beaten while having a drink. The drinking establishment is called the Princess Bar, which fans of the comics will be very familiar with. The bar is located in Madripoor, which MCU fans will recognize from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The trailer seems to have completely recreated Marvel Comics Presents number 1, where Wolverine visits the Princess Bar and beats up a bunch of enforcers attempting to collect protection money from the bar owner on behalf of a crime lord named Roche, whom Logan is currently this hunting is gonna be down. So good, While in guys. Madripoor, Wolverine develops the now famous secret identity known as Patch, which he uses to do investigations into the crime world while wearing a a black eye patch. This eye patch can be seen in the trailer on the counter near his hands. Behind the bar is also a sign for Radio Lowton 104.8. Lowton is a district in Madripoor, but the numbers for the radio station match the universal designation of Marvel Spider-Man, which takes place on Earth 1048. That's cool. Another interesting I can't ever catch stuff like this. Is a license plate that says HLK 181. This How seems do people to be find a direct stuff? reference to the Incredible Hulk Volume 1, Issue 181 where Hawk and Wolverine fight each other during a hunt for an immortal creature so known mean as Hulk's the Wendigo, be in too? teasing a potentially epic boss fight. Logan could also cross paths with even more Marvel characters during awesome. this game, since Madripoor is where he met Black Widow and Captain America for the first time. There was also oh. a comic run where he spent time in Madripoor with if we see Captain America, oh my god, I'm gonna be playing it with my shield, guys. With Jubilee and Psylocke, and the three of them ended up helping Black Widow fight the Hand, a criminal organization most famous for their battles with Daredevil, who was also confirmed to be in the Marvel Spider-Man universe. Me? We haven't had an official That's update so about the game since the animation lead teased when mocap sessions were about to start, but Insomniac is confirmed to be at Comic-Con this year for Spider-Man 2, so it's possible we could get a brief update on Wolverine either there or at the rumored second PlayStation showcase. And to hear more about what Insomniac has planned later this month, click on screen for the next video. Guys, let me know. Are you guys excited about Wolverine? I hadn't heard much about it. That's pretty much new information to me. That's so freaking awesome. I can't wait. I'm a little worried about streaming it if it's a hard R rating. But man, I'm going to want to stream it.